I'm going to show you how I install castle nuts on axle spindles on a utility trailer. Installing these castle nuts, this isn't something that you torque down to make it real tight. If you tight, put torque down on this castle nut, what it'll do is it'll put the bearings in a bind. It'll put a lot of pressure on them bearings, and they're not able to spin and, and turn the way they are supposed to. They'll get real hot, and it'll burn the bearings up. You're going to tighten it up as tight as you can get it by hand. Make sure everything's seated good. And now what we got to take in mind now was the location of that cotter pin. That cotter pin went in in this direction. So what we got to do now is once it's tight by hand, back it off to the closest notch on your castle nut to your hole to where your pin is and then check the hub and see if you got any free play in it because you want just a slight amount of free play in the hub if the tires mounted to the wheel you won't be able to have maybe an eighth of a quarter about a quarter inch of wobble on a big tire just a hub it won't be that much but you want to be able to feel that little bit of give in it right now i can't so I'm going to back the nut off to the next spot on my castle nut where I can put my cotter pin through the axle. Now I got it to the next spot and I'm going to check this hub and see if I can get any free play in it. And now I can feel just a slight little bit of play in it. Not much, but just a little. You don't want to have it too loose, but you want to have just ever so slight amount of play in it. And now I'm going to take a new cotter key and install it. And when I install it, I want to make sure that I got it seated in there good and these tongs bent out to where they're as flush with this castle nut as possible. That way I can put my dust cover on and don't have to worry about it rubbing on the inside of it. Get that seated down. I'm going to twist it around as good as I can and do the same thing with the other one. And you may want to take a, something and make sure you got that pressed down good while you do this. So you got in there as tight as possible. I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.